In this tutorial, we're looking at the liquidity preference theory. The liquidity preference theory is one of the theories that describes the relationship between interest rates and time. The relationship between interest rates and time is usually depicted by means of a graph, and that graph is called a yield curve. There are three different yield curves. The first one is called a normal yield curve. The normal or expected yield curve is an upward sloping yield curve. The upward sloping normal yield curve shows that interest rates in the short term are lower than interest rates in the long term. Then you get a yield curve that is flat, and this is represented by a straight horizontal line. This yield curve basically says that there's no difference between short term interest rates and long term interest rates. Then, lastly, you get a yield curve that's known as an inverted yield curve. And that is a yield curve that is downward sloping. This yield curve says that interest rates in the short term are higher than interest rates in the long term. Now, the liquidity preference theory is a theory that explains the normal yield curve, the normal upward sloping yield curve. The liquidity preference theory says that investors love or prefer liquidity. What does that mean? That means investors love assets that can be turned into cash as soon as possible. So since investors love liquidity, they love assets that are able to be turned into cash as quick as possible, they then have a preference for shorter term instruments like a one-year bond. If they are to take a five-year bond, then they want to be compensated for the lack of liquidity by a higher interest rate. So that's the liquidity preference theory. Investors prefer short-term instruments because they love having access to cash. And if they are to take long-term instruments, then they want to be compensated for taking on this lack of liquidity by means of a higher interest.